Hello, people. Hi, people. We have. I have the pleasure to introduce to you officials for the UN system who would address us. Yeah. Uh, the EU is so. um, Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for bringing some colors to what has been a very boring day so far. So you have, you'll have to listen a little louder because I'm doing the best I can. Um, I, I think we're at the, at the moment, at the point in this conference, where we can just about still make it, providing we can get the show on the road. Um, the, the chairs of the two ad hoc working groups will be reporting back in plenary this morning, and on the basis of their report, the COP president will have to decide how to proceed. You know that the formal statements um, by heads of state and government are beginning at 12. That's about the only thing that will be happening in the, uh, in the public domain for the rest of the day. But basically what the COP president will have to do is to get consensus with the parties on how to proceed from here on, on the mountain of paper that we have with all of the brackets that um, are, are in there. Um, I think if we can get that process moving, we can still get a result out of this conference. But we're at a, at a critical moment in the process. Um, the situation, as you know, is that we're in a conference center where the fire department will allow me to let 15,000 people in at any moment in time. Now, I know your people. <laughs> The fire department will let, let 15,000 people in at any moment in time. We have coming into the, into the building today already many heads of state and government with their own additional delegations, with their own security people. So there is a huge pressure on the building. What I am responsible for is to make function efficiently an intergovernmental negotiating process. What is part of a well-functioning intergovernmental negotiating process is also transparency. But I am stuck in between a rock and a hard place in that I have a building that can accommodate 15,000. I have to give priority to the government and that leaves me with no option but to restrict both the size of government delegations that can go into the restricted area, and I have to restrict the number of you that can come into the conference. You're lying! No, 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 no. We were here at Is that how you want to do it? Because then I'm gone. Morning. Is that how you want to do it? Because then I'm gone. I have been reasonable throughout my three years in this job, trying to create maximum... All right, goodbye. Keep on the course. Open the door, Deborah! Open the door! Or do you want to fight? It's okay. No. <laughs> hey, hey. 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 Let Evo finish. That discrimination. If you are willing to get yourselves organized, I am willing to have a reasonable conversation with you, as I've always done in the three years that you've known me. But if you start insulting me, abusing me, and shouting at me, then I'm not interested. We don't so, have we have a conversation. So why uh, was your selection as highly arbitrary when you looked at the fire president and the delegation? Um, the question is why am I discriminating against France of the Earth? We had developed uh, a quota system to allow certain numbers of people from each organization in. Not everybody, but certain numbers from each organization. The 
the situation that we were in this morning is that people, certain organizations were saying publicly that they were going to break out of the conference center in order to let people in. That's out there in the public domain on the internet. You can read that. That doesn't include Central Asia International. No, maybe not. But that's the security situation that I'm in. So, I, I, I thought that yes, not not one person, not one of, not even one of us has been allowed to. So our quota is not taken off. My suggestion would be um, because I've got a number of other things to try. What what I think is difficult to show. What I would suggest is that you try and identify maybe 15, 20, 25 people that can have a conversation with each other about how to resolve this problem. And if Salma is in the right field of conference, then I've got to go into the field. If she can talk to you, then let's try and find, and first of all, try and understand each other. And secondly, let's see if we can find a reasonable solution. Okay. It's not only about Friends of the Earth. Right. There are more organizations. <laughs> there are more organizations than only Friends of the Earth. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not saying 25 from Friends of the Earth. I'm saying 25 or whatever from all of you to have a conversation about the situation. I'm in the situation that you're in and to see if we can resolve it. Okay. It's still, it's a weird um, way of working. You have some rules of how with quota and people that can, can get in. And suddenly in the morning this is changed. You want the conversation? Yeah, but